Okay, so let's get the uh, recording started. Welcome to the Bookmap Platform Details webinar. This is Bruce at Bookmap. Risk disclaimer, trading equities and futures involves substantial risk of loss and is not suitable for all investors. Past performance is not necessarily indicative of future results. For more information, go to bookmap.com. There is a free 14-day trial. It comes with education. Uh, what you get is the platform, uh, and then you also get the bookmap uh, access to the bookmap educational course, uh, as well as uh, access to the advanced order flow webinars, and those start in about a half hour. Uh, those go through um, not the platform details like this webinar, uh, and uh, and basics uh, in uh, in order flow. The advanced order flow goes through more advanced concepts and understanding not so much the platform but um, uh, what's going on in the market and how bookmap is visualizing that for you uh, which uh, lends to an advantage uh, with your trading so making a distinction between the two uh, this is more nuts and bolts uh, whereas the other webinar is more about um, uh, understanding the uh, markets uh, using this tool okay uh, you also get access to other resources and you can reach out to us at support at bookmap.com uh, let's go to bookmap.com and just uh, quickly go through the website here for you. Uh, just scroll down here. There's a, a original or initially here uh, the about page, an intro video, a couple minutes long. Uh, and then just uh, some information here about bookmap uh, in general. Uh, as we scroll down, uh, there is bookmap for equities. Uh, it's not just for futures. And uh, soon it will also be for cryptocurrencies. Okay, so there's a new version of Bookmap coming out shortly. Uh, it will be uh, mid-January, uh, and it has all sorts of new features. All right, so uh, uh, I, I don't even know what they all are. Uh, I have seen colored heat map. Uh, that gives a nice advantage, uh, as well as uh, some changes to the, um, uh, the dome and trading from the dome, uh, as well as uh, uh, access to cryptocurrencies. Okay, so all sorts of new features, um, and um, uh, anyway, I expect that uh, in about a month. And uh, NASDAQ total view, okay, so uh, you can uh, connect to U.S. equities uh, using the uh, DX feed. It's an excellent uh, feed, and uh, these are the other ways of connecting the book map. All right, so um, traditionally uh, through the uh, futures markets, okay, so we are a trading platform. Okay, just like NinjaTrader, TT, uh, XTrader Pro, uh, and Interactive Brokers Traders Workstation. Okay, these are platforms as well, but we, we do connect to the API of these platforms. However, Bookmap is a platform just like they are. So you can just input your credentials for your CQG uh, uh, data stream or Rhythmic or Gain Capital or IQ feed or Transact and uh, get access to the markets directly in Bookmap. Okay, all right, so here's that free trial I mentioned. Uh, it's 14 days for a bookmap basic or advanced. Uh, let me just go through it here. The bookmap basic is $49 per month. It's billed quarterly. A bookmap advanced is 99 per month billed quarterly. 14 day trial period for either or. Uh, and the difference though between the two okay, is primarily these add-ons. Okay, so one of them is the one-click trading right from the bookmap chart, which is a significant advantage. You can see all of your orders uh, your trading behavior, uh, and you've got the liquidity heat map in front of you, so you can uh, manage uh, all of your, your trading through it. Uh, for example, front run high liquidity on an entry, or uh, your stop uh, loss, uh, you can hide behind high liquidity. Uh, okay, and um, then there's these proprietary uh, indicators we put together, the uh, large lot tracker and iceberg detector, for example, we're not only identifying uh, areas of large liquidity and volume, but we're identifying specific players, okay? Who are some of the larger players and how they are behaving uh, in those in those markets. Um, we also have a correlation tracker down here with different markets and some uh, imbalance uh, indicators here, as you can see. All right, quants, you'll have specific needs, so reach out to us for connecting your own data feed or proprietary indicators, et cetera. Uh, if you do need, if you're new here and uh, you need a um, uh, a data feed as well, uh, you're new to the futures or um, uh, equities markets, then uh, you can click here and you can get uh, uh, 
a free data feed for a, a trial as well. So you can combine that free trial from the data provider with Bookmap uh, free trial. Okay, and there's a complete list here if you want to see the breakdown. Um, okay, the um, other resources here, you can follow us on Twitter uh, at bookmap underscore pro uh, and get the latest uh, information here. Uh, and then uh, you can also subscribe to our, our YouTube channel uh, and uh, just I'll briefly go through it. There's some intro videos here in this playlist if you click here. Uh, features and components playlist here for going through um, all the different features in Bookmap, understanding them in the user user interface. And then the Bookmap order flow videos. Okay, these are uh, very short videos, but they go through um, some very important concepts in the order flow uh, that Bookmap uh, can visualize for you. And this is where you get the advantage using Bookmap. And um, uh, this is the kind of content that we go through in the advanced order flow webinars when you're in trial or or current subscribing, currently subscribing. Uh, so um, uh, these are the concepts, but we go through it in detail uh, in the live markets. So you can you can extrapolate this data here, our information to the live markets, All right? Well, let's go to Bookmap and look at the live markets. We'll go to the NASDAQ. Uh, and uh, although we have a big pullback here in the NASDAQ, bigger picture, we're still in an uptrend and accepting above a specific level. So let's, uh, let's take a look here. Uh, let's see, this is gold. Let's jump to the NASDAQ and take a look. Okay, and let me zoom out here. All right. Uh, good morning, Guido. Uh, you're welcome for the uh, reply. Um, and um, uh, let's see here. Okay, so for those of you who are new, uh, looking at this, you're, you're probably looking at a chart that looks, um, uh, I mean, there's a lot of, looks like there's a lot of data and it's very complex. It's really not. It's very straightforward and, and blunt, um, uh, to be to be quite frank. Um, we have an indicator subpanel down here, okay, which is um, you know we're all accustomed to our indicators. But what we're showing in this book map chart is really simple stuff. It's three elements: historical best bid and offer, volume that traded on that historical best bid and offer, and then this this grayscale heat map that you see here that will be colored here in the near future. Um, it uh, is showing you uh, the uh, historical view of the limit order book, okay, the dome. Okay, taking the dome data where they're bidding and offering and we're just projecting that onto the chart. So just three elements here is what we're looking at. So let me close up the uh, indicator sub panel and let me, uh, I'm gonna turn on a candlestick chart okay, and I wanna show you the differences here uh, of what how this these three elements give tremendous insight okay in book map okay so for example let's just look at this uh, five minute candlestick chart okay we're all accustomed to the candlestick charts uh, more or less uh, we understand that this is an aggregate period of five minutes for example uh, open high low and close of that five minute period there are only four data points here Okay. There's a lot of uh, opaqueness due to that. We don't know, uh, for example, looking at this uh, this candlestick here, because it's all aggregated within a five-minute period. Uh, there's all sorts of microstructures in here, okay, and that that microstructure uh, lends to um, understanding bigger moves uh, and um, uh, how you see might see follow-through uh, to the downside here or uh, this consolidation here which is now turned into, you can see kind of a, a double bottom. Uh, and uh, we wanna see if uh, the buyers start to step in in this area over here or uh, or not. Um, all right, so it, it, it's obscuring the microstructure, okay? Because it's aggregated uh, within a time frame. it's a bar. And that's, uh, that's the problem with um, looking at bars, okay? It could be a volume bar, it also could be um, a Ranko bar, it doesn't matter. Uh, you're looking at an aggregate of data. Okay, and uh, uh, we'll solve that issue by just turning on the historical best bid and offer. Okay, so here we go. Uh, and um, now we have an understanding of what kind of price action occurred within a five minute period. Okay, so this breakdown right here, for example, let's take a look. I'm gonna click on the hand tool and I'm gonna zoom in here a bit. Okay, so here's five minute period, right? Uh, and um, uh, between this candle and this candle here, 
uh, we can see the, the price action. We actually see kind of interesting, a little microstructure here broken and then a microstructure here. Okay, come back up and test these areas and it failed. Uh, and then look at this, this is where it gets interesting. Okay, there's a, there's a little bit of volatility here with the back and forth as you can see. Uh, and then um, uh, look at the uh, the breakdown of the swing here, okay? At uh, around this uh, 87 level or 88 level, 63.88, okay? Um, we uh, originally came down, broke down below, but accepted back into this range here. And then we broke it again here, okay? We come back and test where we broke from here, okay? This is now accepting lower, okay? It's not coming back up into the range and accepting, okay? And we're, look, we see the uh, action go sideways here for, for a bit, and we break to lower lows, okay? So just gaining insight in the microstructure here uh, is uh, uh, all obscured within this aggregate candle view. Okay, and that's very easily uh, visualized by just looking at historical best bid and offer. Okay, so that's the problem with the candlesticks, and this is the kind of uh, insight that you're getting just looking at historical best bid and offer. Now let's turn on the volume because we have no clue, looking at the candlestick chart, where the volume traded. We have a volume subchart, okay, but we don't know uh, exactly where the volume traded on this candlestick. Uh, we don't know how much. And we don't know um, uh, uh, what type, okay? Aggressive selling or buying and, and exactly where that, that took place, where these battles took place. And what even more so is we're gonna gain insight um, by combining microstructure with the volume, okay? So let's turn on the volume. Okay, and here we go. Okay, so tremendous insight here. This is the 930 cash open. Okay, you see the volume really pick up. Okay, that's all always the case here. Uh, and then uh, look at the look at the aggressive selling down here. Okay, the way that this auctioned off is uh, is is giving you a lot of clues to continue uh, continuation to the downside. It's auctioning off very nicely here. Lots of selling to lower lows. Okay, aggressive sellers here the, are the red dots. Okay, that's market sell uh, orders. Uh, and the uh, green dot uh, is market buy. Okay, now if we look at one of the dots here that shows the pie display, it's just showing that there's so many transactions that have taken place here that we give you the overall shape of the volume within that, that very specific time frame. Okay, so I'm going to zoom into this little area here and I'll show you what I mean. Okay, just to give you an idea of really what uh, uh, Bookmap is showing you here. Okay, so uh, for example, uh, looking, at, looking at this uh, big dot here, okay, this is uh, uh, a lot of uh, actual uh, market sell orders, okay, uh, for a volume of 34, 34 contracts in total here, right? Uh, Melissa, let's see, I got your question here. Um, oh, we're on the H contract. Okay, yep. Yikes. Um, yeah, okay, that's a problem. Uh well, we're gonna to have to bear with it today since I've got the data here uh, right now. Uh, I'll open up a new uh, contract. Oh, not the Z, geez. Okay, hold on, let me try that again. Yeah, thanks for that, Melissa. Um, all right, we'll move that over here. Okay, yeah, I was away yesterday and um, um, I was um, not able to, uh, or I forgot about the uh, uh, the contract switchover um, uh, from, uh, from Friday. Okay, so anyway, my apologies for that, uh, it's too bad. Uh, anyway, where were we exactly? Okay, we were in this area here and seeing this breakdown. All right, let's take a look. All right, and let's zoom into this area. And um, we noticed, uh, for example, uh, this cluster of selling here. So really when we zoom in, this is exactly what we're showing. Okay, it's very simple data. Historical best bid is the green line. Historical best offer is the red line. That's it. Okay, it's very, very simple to understand. 
uh, but we can see so much data in, in here uh, or get insight to uh, price activity. Uh, it's just, uh, uh, it's fantastic. I mean, we can see the spread widen out here and we can see how volume is accepting above specific areas in the microstructure. Okay, so anyway, the important part is, uh, so you see this cluster here, this big red dot, okay? That's aggressive market sell orders uh, or contracts. So someone or many traders here, um, they um, uh, cross the spread, they hit the market sell button and they took liquidity off of the best offer. Okay, green dot is the opposite. Uh, that's, that's an aggressive market buy. Okay, and uh, that takes place on the best uh, uh, on the best offer, as you can see here. Okay. Okay. Now note how when I zoom in to these areas, note how I'm pulling apart all that trade activity. Okay, and we we can show you exactly what's what's occurring here. Okay, and uh, and we're down at at microsecond levels here. Okay, so we're looking at millions of seconds. Okay, and we know exactly what occurred and what traded and. Uh, uh, all of this data here is is not aggregated whatsoever. Uh, you're getting a very, very objective, clear view of the market. Now, as I zoom back out, though, I'm compressing the timeline together, and I am showing the overall delta of this volume. Okay, And, uh, for example, let's just zoom back in. All right, so I can use the data tip tool here, hover over this dot, and it tells me it's for a volume of nine. Uh, well, that was actually broken into many trades as well, uh, and that is for, looks like one trade for a volume of four here. Okay, as I zoom back out though, I compress it all together and it gives me the overall delta here of 34 contracts. We get the date, the time, what was on the bid, and then the volume. All right, so all the data is here, it's just visually or graphically aggregated for you. Right, that's what we're showing here with the volume and the historical best bid and offer. And now, if we zoom out, you can see that so many trades took place. We're giving the overall delta here, and you know that this is mostly selling down here. Okay, there is some buying as we just saw, but we know that most of it is selling. Okay, combining that with the breakdown of the structure, now we can put this all together uh, and understand that there is selling pressure, and we're looking for. Uh, the higher probability of price discovery to the downside. Okay. Now that's just two of the elements that we're looking at here in the book map chart. Okay. There is the third element and that is the, the, um, the auction. Okay. The heat map uh, that's, that's happening outside of the uh, traded volume. All right. Let's see. Uh, Edson, you have a question here. Um, good question. Uh, does Bookmap um, uh, update automatically to the next contract? It depends on your data provider um, and the contract that you are accessing. So, for example, if you're looking at um, CQG, uh, the, the contract symbol is EP, and that's it, right? It will always roll over to the next contract, right? With Rhythmic, you can see the problem, the, not the problem, um, the, the process I went through. Uh, to uh, add a new contract, okay? All right. Um, so um, anyway, the um, uh, so we have these two bits of data here, and we're already getting tremendous insight. Uh, and just a note here, for those of you who look at footprint charts, okay, you're, you're seeing where the volume and what type of volume and how much, uh, where, where exactly it's trading but you're not getting the microstructure detail, which is critical, okay? Because it's gonna be all aggregated. Uh, and that's uh, that's the problem with the uh, the footprint charts. So for example, uh, here's our microstructure, okay? And we see the distinction, and now we know where the volume is trading within that structure, okay? That, you can see here, here's our five minute bar over here and here. Okay, so we, we lose that, okay, within the, um, if you're looking at a five minute bar on a, uh, on a footprint chart. Okay, anyway, um, now let's get into the auction part, okay. So um, we're, we, we can zoom out here and we can see um, the, uh, that area we just looked at here uh, and understand that uh, looking for continuation potential continuation to the downside. Um, now, if I zoom back in, 
uh, here, uh, I want to show the dome, okay, because most of us are very familiar looking at a dome. Okay, let me know if you're not, uh, but uh, the idea or the concepts behind a dome is to understand the auction, where traders are lining up providing liquidity uh, to deal, where they want to deal. Okay, so for example, down here at 63.85, we, there's 89 contracts we can see here, and up here there are 99 contracts at 94 and a half, right? 126 here at uh, 82 and a half here on the uh, on the bid. Okay, so um, understanding these areas of high liquidity, that's where the market, uh, larger traders, uh, or there's just a lot of trading interest at those specific levels, and the market knows that. Okay, so it can act like targets. Um, and uh, we want to understand that data. The problem here with the dome is once these numbers change, and you can see them changing, okay, and they update, uh, they're updating very slowly at the moment, uh, but um, uh, when they change, then that data is lost. Okay, it is now a new, a new number, and we don't know, unless you memorize it, what the other number was previously and the interest at that level. Okay, and that's that's a, a problem here that Bookmap solves because we record it. Okay, and uh, uh, here if we can see in this window here. Okay, this is the dome, the graphical dome. Okay, we're looking at best bid and offer, right? Current right now, and the last traded volume right here. Uh, and then you see this heat map. Okay, the heat map is a reflection of high liquidity. So if it's really bright for up up here at 99 or or down here at uh, 85. Uh, or I'm sorry, at, at 94 and a half or uh, 85 here, we see these these 90 contracts here at this uh, 85 level, and it's bright white. Okay, so you'll see the heat map change when the numbers change. Okay, to reflect those values. So, like for example, someone just jumped in here, and then they just jumped right back out. All right, and and where this gets interesting is we take that data and we record it. So this is what it looks like. Okay, so note how um, that jumping in and jumping out right here uh, at 86 and a quarter. So uh, it was low liquidity, then it jumped to high, then they pulled, and then they jumped back in. So these striations you see here uh, is liquidity being added and pulled. But what we're starting to understand now, because we, we recorded the historical uh, depth of market, is we're starting to understand at larger levels and the, and the behavior of these traders at those levels. Look how they just all pulled right at the, right at the same moment right now, okay, just a, a second ago. Okay, there's a big shift there. Okay, even down here on the, on the, uh, on, on the bid, okay, uh, and, the, uh, and the offer. Looks like it really wants to break out to the high side and come up here to higher levels of liquidity, okay, just based on that shift. And we're not even talking about the volume here. We're just talking about the shift in liquidity that we just we just witnessed. Okay. Okay. So why why would I anticipate this move to the upside? Okay. Well, because uh, if the market uh, uh, is looking to trade, it's going to have to come up to these higher levels now, and they're actually um, uh, starting to uh, 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 skew the auction on the bid here. Okay. They're starting to add in at higher levels. Okay. So they're kind of chasing price here on the on the uh, uh, on the bid side. This is new information for the auction to digest and you can see the reaction. Anyway, getting into the um, reading of the heat map uh, and the order flow, that's uh, reserved for the uh, the next webinar. We can go through the basics uh, and questions that you have, uh, but uh, we just saw a skew in the auction and we anticipated the move to the upside here. All right, just based on that, we're not even not even the traded volume here, uh, but um, uh, and uh, it's looking like a, a pretty pretty decent breakout at the moment. All right, so uh, anyway, uh, that's the uh, the heat map, and as I zoom back out, okay, now it starts to get kind of noisy here, okay, but uh, we can see the bigger picture though. Look at the all of this interest here on the. Uh, all of a sudden on the bid at these higher levels. That's the skew in the auction I just talked about. And then they're pulling here, uh, and um, uh, so uh, uh, on the offer, so we're trading at higher levels. Okay, anyway, we're seeing a lot of selling up here too, though, 
So, um, you know, this is uh, this is another part here. So this is a kind of trappy uh, environment here. Uh, we can see sellers starting to uh, jump in. Uh, we might come right back down and test where we just broke from. Okay. Anyway, that's uh, uh, maybe for a uh, another time. Um, the um, now this uh, when we zoom out though, this is where it gets pretty pretty uh, uh, key to understanding this heat map and utilizing it. Okay. I mean, we see kind of a noisy heat map right now. Well, we can still use the uh, historical option to understand these levels of high liquidity uh, by uh, just bringing up uh, or changing the uh, uh, configurations of the uh, contrast in, in the heat map. Okay, so for example, we can just start to target areas of high liquidity. All right, and, uh, and you can see it. Okay, so high liquidity target is up here at well, we're, we're approaching 6,400 the figure, okay? That's why there's a lot of liquidity up here at this uh, uh, level of uh, 98 and, I don't know, a half or three quarters or so. All right. And then here they are down on the bid uh, at uh, 86 and a half. All right. Notice the high liquidity jumping in here as well, okay, and interest uh, on the bid side. Okay, so some interesting stuff to see, uh, and uh, putting this all together, we're getting, uh, uh, with these basic three elements, and we can take the heat map off, I'm sorry, the uh, candles, candlestick uh, off, and um, uh, just start to look at those three elements and understand the uh, context of the order flow and the uh, volume within microstructure and the historical auction, all right? All right, guys. Well, um, let's uh, let's wrap it up. We'll call it a day. And um, uh, if um, didn't get to too much of the uh, um, uh, you know the basics in the order flow, just that one example uh, in the breakout here, and example over here as well uh, at 9:30 or just after 9:30. Uh, but um, uh, yeah, we can uh, we can get to maybe that uh, tomorrow uh, and ask ask questions uh, would be. Uh, uh, the way to go. Uh, happy, happy to go through it here uh, for you. Okay, but uh, understanding the basics is critical first, uh, then to move on to the next uh, next step. Okay, all right, guys, uh, watch the uh, video, um, uh, these videos here for understanding the um, uh, order flow context uh, and um, the video snippets. I think you'll find that really really helpful as a, as a starting point. Okay, after that it would be uh, the bookmap trial. Uh, you know, do, give the trial a, a try here, and then you'll get access to uh, uh, a lot of the educational resources as well. All right. All right. Thanks, guys. We'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.